Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus and today I welcome you guys to yet another Fire Emblem Echoes character preview. Today we take a look at the lovely cleric Silk. Silk is a young cleric who prior to the events of Echoes was kidnapped by a gang of bandits raiding a monastery. She is later rescued by Alm and his group after they're done clearing out the hideout. Upon being rescued she joins him and his companions on their journey as a healer. Silk is the cleric who hands over Mila's gear to Alm, a device capable of providing visions into the future, which will have great implications for both the story and gameplay elements of Echoes. Silk's redesign is personally one of my favorite in Echoes. In Gaiden, she is a pretty generic looking priestess with short pink hair and a very plain pink dress. Come Echoes, however, Silk looks very different. Her dark and blue white dress is much more detailed with golden embroideries. She is also wearing a priestly hood now that partly covers up her hair, which is now light blue. She is also depicted with a much more sassy pose. Overall, Silk looks a lot more like a cleric with her new design, which I think is a definite improvement from her plain design in Gaiden. Now that we actually have access to new information thanks to the Japanese Echoes ROM being leaked online, I will now display the statistic from the new game in these character previews. If you think that this will somehow ruin your gameplay experience, I ask that you close this video right now. From now on, every single preview will be using the new statistical information from Echoes, so keep this in mind. In Echoes, Silk is the first cleric joining the player in Alm's route, which makes her quite important. Silk is actually quite unique as far as the typical Fire Emblem cleric goes. She does have the archetypical traits of having amazing luck and resistance, but surprisingly her defense growth is very solid as well, though she still has a pretty low defense base of 1, so she'll be frail as tinfoil paper in the early goings of the game. Silk's skill and speed are both quite average, but she does have a very good attack growth and base, meaning she can inflict decent damage with her Nosferatu spell, though beware, this spell has stupidly low accuracy, so it's not really reliable on the front lines. Silk is more than just her stats though, she is an amazing support unit, starting off with the ability to heal your allies, and at later levels she picks up many great utility spells like Warp, Dare and Invoke. When she promotes to a Saint, she gets the old powerful Angel slash Seraphim spell, whatever is gonna be named in the localized version, which is super effective against monsters, making Silk quite formidable in combat. Still though, Silk's main role for a majority of the game will be as a healer and a utility unit, so keep her safely tucked away in the rare lines protected by some bulky units, because Nosferatu tanking is not going to work out in Echoes the same way it does in some of the other games. Thank you for watching this Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valencia character preview. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe for more Echoes contents. Let me know who you want me to feature in the next preview by telling me in the comment section below. Until next time, my name is Minmangs and I'll see you again soon.